Hi, Jeremy Crow here. In this video, I'm going to astound you with some mainstream, established, scientific fact about outer space that sounds like a conspiracy theory at first, but it's absolutely true. Well, actually, all I can say is that it's currently accepted as true by mainstream science. We all know that we probably don't know shit about the universe, <laughs> that we're, that we're getting, that we have guesses that are, you know, getting closer and closer to being accurate in terms of being able to predict, uh, observe phenomenon. But I mean, how often do you see a science uh, article saying, oh, it behaved way different than we expected? You know, <laughs> we don't know crap about it but there are calculations about distances and things like that that I wanted to tell you about okay so let's just jump right into it get this big mind blower out of the way humans have never left Earth's atmosphere for real for real so you might be thinking oh no this is another one of those videos that say we faked the moon landing and that the entire space program is a big fraud. No, no, no. I'm talking about within the universe, uh, within the worldview that the, the currently, the current mainstream accepted science is true. Let's just say for now, um, we went to the moon. That's currently mainstream accepted science that we went to the moon. I'm not saying that we didn't. Um, but even, let's, even with traveling to the moon, standing on the surface of the moon, you're still within Earth's atmosphere. Earth's atmosphere extends well beyond the, uh, the moon. So the moon goes out, uh, if you were to travel in a straight line perpendicular from the surface of the Earth, directly to the to the moon let's say you had the proper trajectory that distance is uh, roughly 400,000 kilometers now for my metrically challenged friends in Libya or no uh, Liberia Myanmar and the United States of America that is roughly 250,000 miles. Uh, but we're going to use kilometers uh, like the rest of the civilized world. So 400,000 kilometers is how far away the moon is from the surface of the Earth. The Earth's atmosphere, they've they've realized in less than a year ago it's been it's been less than a year since they've realized this even though the measurements that prove it go back decades um it goes out they've calculated that it goes out at least about 600,000 kilometers so that's well beyond the distance between uh the surface of the earth and the moon it go the, the entire moon is is within earth's atmosphere so we haven't gone further than the moon as humans. We haven't traveled physically past the moon. Uh, I mean, we've circled around the moon, but we haven't gone any further beyond that. So the, the truth is humans have never left Earth's atmosphere. <laughs> Isn't that a mind blower? Um, so also the other thing that I wanted to mention is that the space, International Space Station it's, it's not really in outer space it all depends on how you define where space begins and where it ends right um, at what point are you in outer space well if you ask the institutions that are involved in this kind of thing NASA um, there's a French one, I can't remember the name of it, F-A-I, I think are the, is the acronym for it. But um, they say somewhere around between, uh, usually the estimation is somewhere between 80 and 100 kilometers. I'm not talking 80,000 kilometers, I'm, I'm talking 80 kilometers 
above the surface of the Earth, and then beyond that, they say that's outer space. Even though Earth's atmosphere extends 600,000 kilometers from the surface of the Earth, if you go 80 kilometers, well, you're in outer space. <laughs> Does that make sense to you? Now, the other thing too, now this is weird. Um, I mean, you may not have realized this, but the International Space Station is only 400 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. That's it, just to put it into scale, if you were to travel, uh, you know, horizontally between Toronto and Ottawa, that's roughly 400 clicks. If you were to travel between Houston, Texas and Dallas, Texas, that's roughly 400 kilometers. That's the same distance if you were to put it up straight instead of across like that on the surface of the Earth. If you went up like that, that's the distance to the space station. The International Space Space Station. <laughs> Is that really in outer space? If it's that close to the surface of the Earth? And we know that the Earth's atmosphere extends 600,000 kilometers? The, the moon is within Earth's atmosphere, and the moon is 1,000 times further away than the International Space Station. 1,000 times. 400,000 kilometers versus 400 kilometers. <laughs> Can you believe that? Okay, now this is going to really cook your noodle. So, the distance, right? So, 400k, 400 kilometers from the surface to the space station, 400,000 kilometers to the moon, right? So how long does it take humans to travel to these two places? <laughs> the fastest humans have ever traveled to the International Space Station was six hours. Six hours to travel that uh, 400 kilometers north, like, perpendicular against gravity so I mean you might be thinking oh I can drive that in less than six hours I can drive that in about you know three and a half <laughs> you know well that's true but you're not you're not uh, fighting directly against gravity you know but six hours is the fastest we've ever traveled from the surface of the earth to the International Space Station and that's only a, a distance of 400 kilometers. The, the shortest time that we've ever traveled from the surface of the Earth to the moon was during uh, the 1960s. And we got there during the Apollo 8 mission in just three days. Three days, that's 12 times the amount of time it took us the fastest time we went to the space station. So, hmm. It's a little weird, isn't it? Okay, so you go 1,000 times the distance. E okay, so let's say you travel up, directly up, for six hours. You're going to get to the International Space Station. And then... In uh, two and a half days later, you're going to get a thousand times the distance that you got in that first six hours. <laughs> like, does that even make sense? It, it just, these are, these are the facts of the matter. And it's just really hard to kind of wrap your head around these, these ideas because, I mean, I don't know about you, but when I thought of the International Space Station, I didn't think that it was just 400 kilometers above the surface. I thought that it was somewhere out in space, like way out there, like um, at least half the distance between the Earth and the Moon. At least half. No, it's one thousandth the distance between the Earth and the Moon. One thousandth that distance. <laughs> Okay, well, I, I think I've ranted on about this enough, but 
doesn't that blow your mind? Humans have never left Earth's atmosphere. The space station is one thousandth the distance, but it only took us one twelfth the time to get there. <laughs> Anyways, what, what do you think about all this? Let, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, everybody, stay lucid.